Kate's not here, and I'm going to come play with makeup. Play with makeup. So I'm going to be doing a half face with our Flawless Four collection, which includes our primer, our liquid foundation, and a liquid concealer, shades of choice, plus the liquid foundation um, brush. So I am going to prime my skin first. Um, the primer actually comes in a long black sleep package now, but it's the same ingredients, and I'm finishing up some I already have. So I'm just going to rub the primer all over. I like to let it sit for about a minute to three minutes before I apply my foundation. So I'm going to be using the shade in Taffeta Foundation, so I'm going to shake it up really, really good. And I'm going to take the dropper, and I'm only doing a half face. And I'm going to put a couple drops on my brush. Give myself some polka dots. And watch magic happen. I love this foundation because it's so lightweight, dries to a powder finish. Some people it gives a really full coverage, some people it gives a more medium coverage and they need a little extra depending on their skin struggles. Look at that. Redness, be gone. Alright. So that's just the foundation. Okay? So it smooths out my complexion. It's time released, so it will look better as it sits here. It's really hard to do a half face. Then for the concealer, before I put my concealer on, let me put on my perfect liner. Literally always need my perfect liner. Can't take myself serious without it. All right, so if I was going to cover any blemishes, I would use the same shade foundation or concealer as foundation. But thankfully, I don't have any blemishes right now, so I'm going to use a shade lighter in the concealer for under eye. So how I like to do my under eye is I like to put a little bit of concealer on my ring finger. A little goes a long way. And then I like to dab it underneath my eye and rub it down into a triangular motion to up into the corner of my eye. And then I like to take my powder concealer brush and take the concealer in and really just smooth it into the cheek. Gives that perfect awake look. And when you get up at 3.30 for workouts, you need anything to fake awake, right? Okay, so you can finish like that and be done. You can top it with a pressed powder. I'm actually going to use the setting powder, the Behold setting powder, with the other end of this brush, and I'm actually going to bake my face. So I'm going to pack on a bunch of setting powder right where I highlighted. And it's going to look really chalky, but you let it sit there for a good little while while you finish the rest of your face. So if you're like me, I also like our pressed powder, I'm just going to touch up Look at that. No need for it, but I love the pressed powder. So I'm just going to come through anywhere that has foundation that isn't being baked. Come through and just put some pressed powder over it. Kind of seal it in because I'm really oily. Now while that's baking, I'm going to finish my lashes. I do curl my lashes because they're straight as a board. And I'm only going to be using the gel. Because it's a quick and easy day. And this gel is amazing. The bristles of this transplanting gel wand are spaced evenly to comb your lashes out and apart. That way, if you want to use the fibers, the fibers fill it in. And you can do as many coats as you want, just like regular mascara. But I find I usually only need a couple little coats. Look how pretty that gel is. Since we're keeping it simple, I'm just going to come in with my dark brow gel and color in any sparse areas. Now, I like to go against the hairs because there's little fibers infused in this brow gel that grip a hold of your hair for a more fuller look. It's raining here, so I have the dog freaking out, and I'm sure the baby will be screaming in a minute. So it looks a lot fuller but still gives you your same natural shape. All right, the setting powder set there long enough. I'm just going to brush off any extra that's not needed. And then I'm going to come in and you can apply whatever color you love on your cheek because you want to add color to your face. You don't want it to be all one shade. You want it to be a smooth canvas to provide color. So I'm going to come in with sweet blush because I love a good little blush on my cheek. And then I'm going to finish with a lip stain because I work behind a mask. I like my lips to stay on. And this is the color Speechless. And it's a 
peachy brown, orange color. And I figured since I have orange roosters all over me, I can wear this today. I'm not a Longhorn fan, but if you are, this is a perfect game day color for you. It's hard to do a half lip. All right, and there you have it. The Flawless Four in action. Uneven, even, uneven. And it's so weightless that you'll forget you're even wearing it, but it continues to look better as the day goes. <laughs>